Hey, welcome to the coin box. This is the final top 10 video and in this video I'll cover my top 10 favorite items in my collection regardless of where they came from, uh, when I got them, or uh, who produced them. So I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you've enjoyed the other top 10 videos. If you haven't watched those, be sure and check those out as well. Let's get started. Okay, at number 10, we have this Southern Railroad commemorative 1950 five peso coin. And um, it has a very low mintage of only 200,000 pieces minted. And it's recorded that half of the mintage, so 100,000 of them were melted in order to um, be used to mint the 1968 Olympic coin. So that mintage was effectively split in half. So these are pretty scarce. Um, you can find them. It's not like you can't find them, but the price on these has steadily gone up. And so I'm very happy to have this one at number 10. And I will say very briefly that this list will be slightly different than the others because I tried really hard to be a lot more strict with this list. So I'm trying to stick with one piece, one specific coin uh, per entry. So I'm starting off this list with this coin at number 10. At number nine, I have this 1975 20 centavos Madero coin with a dropped letter error. In this case, a dropped number error. And it's not so much the value on this coin, which is the reason I have it in this top 10. I think it's because um, I found it myself and it's a really cool error. It's a really unique error. I'll try to zoom in there a little bit for you. And I'll show this on the channel soon, explaining the error. Um, but just the uniqueness of it, the coolness factor, and the fact that I found it myself is the reason I have it at number 9. At number 8, I have this 1991 Type 2 Libertad graded MS66, which I got for a really great deal. If you haven't watched my Top 10 Purchases video yet, I'll leave a link above and in the description below. Be sure and check that video out. But this Type 2 is possibly scarcer than the 1998 Libertad. So the fact that it's scarce and the fact that I got a great deal on it brings it in at number 8. At number 7, we have a beautiful 1 ounce reverse proof Libertad. The finish on these is always stunning. The reverse proof finish is, I've said before, my favorite finish. And because of the scarcity of these, with only 1,000 of them minted, they're always in high demand. So the scarcity, demand, and beauty of this coin bring it in at number 7. At number 6, this is the only entry on the list that I have two coins. I have this 1947 Cuauhtémoc with beautiful, beautiful toning and this 1979 Onza Troy also again with beautiful toning. And that's why I have them both together on this list at number 6. At number 5, we have this 1979 Onza Troy with the dot before the date. And after searching for this variety for a while, I was very happy to find it in such lovely condition. So I'm pretty proud of this one, and that's why I have it at number 5. At number 4, I have one of my favorite U.S. Mint produced sets, and it's this two-coin reverse proof set with the Type 1 and Type 2. If you'd like more information on this set, watch my video I did on it up here and in the description below. But this set comes in at number 4. At number three, I have the 2021 Peace Dollar from the U.S. Mint. Now, the U.S. Mint also released several Morgan Dollars, but in my opinion, this was my favorite of those releases. I feel like it's the winner of those releases. Um, I just love the Peace Dollar design. I love the originals, of course. Um, so I was happy to pick up this modern release from the U.S. Mint. Now, I wish they had done a few things differently. I wish they had stuck with the original specifications, so 90% silver, and I wish they had tried to get the same kind of finish. This finish is definitely different from that, but uh, having said that, I like the way this looks. I got three directly from the U.S. Mint, and I purchased another two for a total of five from a seller afterward, and I feel like I got a pretty good deal on those. I'm looking forward to the release this year from the U.S. Mint, the 2023 release, especially the Reverse Proof set. So as soon as I have those, uh, you can count on seeing them here on the channel. So this coin comes in at number three. At number two, I have this 1883 uncirculated Carson City or CC Morgan Dollar. And I'm very happy to finally have a GSA Morgan Dollar in my collection. As I mentioned in my other top 10 videos, I uh, bought the coin and the holder separately, but was able to complete the set with the box and COA. 
as I mentioned before, the first two digits on the COA is supposed to match the year on the coin. So this being in 1883, it all matches. So yeah, who doesn't love a good GSA Carson City Morgan dollar? So I have this coin at number two. And before we get to our number one spot, here are a few honorable mentions. So this pillar dollar proof set, very pretty. I've shown it multiple times already. The 1921 piece dollar, the 1954 five pesos laurel. And then here we have the 2021 CC Morgan dollar, which is a little gimmicky because it's no longer a mint mark, but a privy mark. But it was still cool to get this because these were the harder ones to get. Um, that's when the US Mint released them 10 at a time. So of course resellers pick them up pretty quickly and bots and whatnot. So I got this one in a trade to be able to complete my set. So I'm happy to have this one. Then over here we have a one peso uh, from 1902 Zacatecas. And then we have a 1913 Caballito and a 1921 two peso coin. So all of these are really cool coins that I could not leave off the list. So I have them here as honorable mentions. And at number one, which was so hard to pick, I finally went with this 1995 proof set. This is the blue set, which comes in this box. And um, you can see here, it's a very large set, but a very beautiful set. And I think the reason I went, or the reasons I chose this one for the number one spot is that this set is a lot more scarce than the black 1995 proof set. It has the same coins, it's just more scarce. So I want, I've been wanting it for a while and I was finally able to pick this up. Um, it has, it commemorates the three year, the end of the three year transitional period between the old pesos and the new pesos. It's the only proof coins in these denominations. Uh, it was only released one year. It's the only five peso coin released that year. And um, the 10 peso, it's the only, again, the only proof 10 peso, but it has a silver core. So there's so many things that are pretty special about this set. And the fact that I just got it after wanting it for so long um, made it my top choice for this list. All right, well, those are my top 10 coins currently in my collection. As I mentioned before, I plan on making another top 10 list next year to see how much changes year over year. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments below. Also, feel free to share, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.